Hey guys, welcome to our channel Next Gen Study and in this video we'll be discussing on the topic of nervous shock and tortious liability. Now what is nervous shock? Nervous shock is injury inflicted upon a person by intentional or negligent actions or omissions of any other person. Nervous shock is a mental injury or any medically recognized psychiatric illness. It is a shock which arises from reasonable fear to immediate person's injury to oneself. Now, what are the essentials under nervous shock? So, if a plaintiff wants to receive damages for nervous shock due to negligence of the defendant, then he must prove all the elements of tort of negligence. That is duty to take care, breach of that duty, a casual link between breach and the nervous shock that occurred, and that the shock was not too remote a consequence. Now, there are two type of victims who claim damages under nervous shock. The primary victims and the secondary victims. The primary victim is an insan who is directly involved in an accident and suffers injury. And the secondary victim is a person who is not actually at risk of physical injury but he suffers a mental injury or a psychiatric injury as a result of witnessing someone being harmed. Now the position of primary victim. So in the case of Page vs. Smith, Lord Lloyd gave a judgment which created a restrictive definition of who primary victims are. It made the sole requirement of a party was to be within the zone of physical danger and remove the requirement of psychiatric harm to be foreseeable. So the judge held that where there was reasonably forcibility then physical and psychiatric harms are not different types so if physical harm is forcible then the plaintiff can recover in respect of both physical and psychiatric harms even when the later is not in itself forcible now the position with regard to secondary victims it is governed by the judgment in alcock was chief constable of south yorkshire in this, the House of Lords laid down three control mechanisms which are needed to be considered in the case of secondary victims before the defendant can be held liable for damages. Now, those three tests are proximity of relationship with the immediate victim, proximity in time and space to the events causing the psychiatric harm, and the means by which the psychiatric illness is called. Now, the second and third control mechanism are sometimes also called the proximity of perception. Now, we'll have a look at some other cases under our shock. The first is Neolio versus White and Sons. This is one of the earliest cases of Nova shock. In this case, a carriage was driven into a pub where a pregnant lady was working. She got terrified by the incident and suffered Nova shock and she claimed compensation for it. In this, the court granted her compensation. In this case, it was further noted that the shock must arise from reasonable fear of immediate personal injury to oneself. It brought into picture what is called the impact theory, according to which the plaintiff would be allowed to recover for psychiatric illness, provided that it was caused by reasonable fear of being physically injured by defendant's negligence. The next case is Hamburg was a stroke bruise. So, in this case, the woman suffered psychiatric harm after she was the lorry go downhill where her children were known to be. Although she wasn't a participant uh, for the event, she experienced direct shock as a result of fear for her children and hence she was able to recover her claim. Now the next case is Joseph Phillips Mansell vs Premier Automobile Limited. So in this, Mr. Joseph purchased a car which happened to be defective. And as a result, he suffered nervous shock. Now, when he complained about it, the manufacturer denied his liability, saying that it was not his fault since it is a very trivial matter. Now, in this case, the court held that the plaintiff is entitled to get compensation as there is no doubt that he will suffer mental agony after paying so much amount and getting a defective car. That is it for the video, guys. If you like the video then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button also if you want the pdf of the content that we upload to join our telegram channel the link to which is given in the description box thank you